Okay, so now that you have a little bit understanding of the fonts and some understanding of the images, it's a good time. I think it's a perfect time to move into a project. Now, obviously, we cannot do much with the projects right now because we don't have any idea about the buttons, maybe the forms or anything. But of course, we can design a coming soon page and uh, just like that. So we're going to use an image for this, this particular project and you can use any project. In fact, I highly recommend to use another project. And by the way, there is going to be an assignment at the end of this project as well. So this is the image that I'm using. It's a Rolex image. And by the way, this blue color in here is really, really impressive. So we're going to use this. We are also going to use the Google fonts, which I'll talk in a bit, talk in a moment how we can do that. So let's just go in here and let's open up a new atom, a uh, new window for the atom. Okay, because we want to close this guy. Okay. And uh, now what we'll be doing is let's open up a project, add project folder. Yep, that's good. And we're going to go into the desktop and uh, this is going to be inside the Bootstrap 4 projects. And there we go. Let's open up there. Now, first of all, I want to create a new folder and we are going to call this as 01 and that is going to be watch. Okay. Or watch landing page. Okay, very descriptive. Zero one watch landing page. Okay, we can go with that. Now in here, I'll create a new folder or new file basically, and that's going to be index.html. That is good. And since we don't have anything much, in fact, I highly recommend you to create a new folder CSS and place everything inside the CSS folder. But I'm going to just do it in here because there is nothing much in here. And I would like to call this as style.css. We're into a very basic level of project in here. Okay, that is good. Now let's just throw up some boilerplate code. So again, from the very first project, we have got a boilerplate code in the bootstrap folder that we have in here. Save that. And we might want to run a, a simple server there. And uh, there we go. I think... Uh, since we have added the project folder, this guy, that's why it's not working and I don't want to type it again. So I'll just add a project folder again in here, which is this guy and open that up. And uh, I think we can close this guy. Okay, how we need to close that. Okay, remove project folder. Okay, there we go. Nice and good and easy. And now I can reload. Nope, I cannot still. And stop this server start the server again and there we go now we are good to go okay so i need to first delete this guy and show you a few assets as well so let me open up the bootstrap 4 and project and landing page so we'll be throwing up some images in here and let me show you what are those images these are the images we'll be working so one image is exactly the same that we have seen up the rolex image and actually I have added a tint to that in, and I've named it as test1.png and this is what we have. I have added a mask of blue there so that it looks very soothing in here. Okay, so I think you got that. So this is the assets. Although these assets should be going up in their own images folder and this guy should go into the CSS but we are on to bare minimum right now and that would be almost overkill of these things. So let's just go in here. Okay, so first thing that we'll be doing, we'll be placing what are the text that we need. And I would like to place all of my text into container. Now, you might be yelling at me that, hey, why this is always a container container? Now, I would say bear with me because these container will be explained to you later on for sure. Don't worry. Now, in the H1 tag, I would like to say that uh, something like uh, we are coming with watches. Okay, and I think this looks okay. And notice this container is actually giving you some padding from the left and the right as well. And notice it just makes things look a little bit decent. Okay, now the first thing that I would like to do in here is fill up my entire page with an image. And the image that we'll be using is gonna be the blue image. Okay, so let's go in here and we're gonna go into the style. Now to get a background cover image, we have to, it's basically an easy process. It's its not a big deal. Uh, but I think some of you might not be that familiar with the CSS. I'll assume that. So uh, let's just write that. 
Now, what we want to do is we want to select the body in the CSS first of all, and then I want to use a background. Now, what you want to do with the background, a lot of things that we want to do. First of all, we write a URL. Maybe our images might be coming up from a, a link, maybe from a website, although it's not a good idea, but maybe. So in this case, first of all, we are gonna go with the test1.png. Now, why test1.png? Because my image is placed in the test1.png, just this folder only, where the index is. In case my files would be placed in the images folder, then I would be writing images slash test1.png, okay? I hope you got that concept. Okay, now the next thing that we'll be doing is I don't want my images to be repeating, okay? So I'll add no dash repeat. Now, I could have written a separate background dash repeat and say no repeat, but it's much more easier to write it in just one line. Now, from top and bottom, I want it to be center. From left and right, I want it to be center. And I also want a fixed image there, okay? Now, save that. And uh, notice we didn't got anything. And why is that? Let me just go ahead. And that is because we haven't actually linked our uh, CSS file in here, okay? Uh, easy mistake. Okay, let's just write a link, colon, CSS. And we'll be uh, referencing to style.css. Save that. And there we go. Now, although this is exactly what we want, but it's not looking much soother. What happens if it just covers entire page in here? I know this will look so much awesome. Now, it's pretty much easy, but we cannot do it in just one line. We have to use one more property, and that is background size. So BG, oops background dash size and it has a lot of options you can see auto contain cover and it gives you some uh, hints there as well cover value for the background size property and we're going to use the cover save that and notice this is already looking awesome and the best part is it is responsive okay so the image always just covers everything no matter what happens so looks so good but this black text is it beautiful not at all not at all so we are going to just go ahead and change a few things in here so the first thing that i would like to do is add a class to this now this is not going to be a bootstrap class because i want to create my own class this is a hero text there uh, kind of a common terminology that everybody use when there's a big text so this is going to be a hero text there and we'll be selecting the hero text in here in the style.css how can we do that dot hero so there we go we have selected that first of all the color is bothering me a lot so i'm going to be using fff uh, which is white and there we go so this is our uh, one of the plugins that we have installed in here packages that just changes it so, okay so this is why it is doing much better much better and we are happy with that now also i would like to give it a margin of top to be 20 percent we're gonna work as much as possible in the percentage. Okay, that that looks good. Not very happy with that as of now. And we're gonna have a text align to center. Okay, how does that work? Yep, we are going much, much better there. Okay, now what we can do, we can give it a font size as well to make it a big guy. Font size to be, let's just say, almost 75 pixels. That is too big, but Hey, that is good. Looking good so far. Next thing that we are gonna do is give him some letter spacing and I'm pretty sure that's gonna look good. So we're gonna go with letter spacing and I want to shrink it a little bit. So I'm gonna be going with minus uh, 0.05 M's and uh, there we go. And you can see that it shrinks a little bit and I think that looks good. Obviously, you can just skip these two last properties like line height and letter spacing in case you are not too much worried about uh, the designing process there. But again, it looks so good to me. Okay. So this is all about our hero text, but this text is not looking very awesome. What I want to do is use a Google font there. Now, how you use the Google font? Now, it's really simple. Go to fonts.google.com. It will give you a lot of links and CSS there. Uh, and the one that I'm looking for in here, I have actually already selected it, which is a Revela. And let me just show you where that is. And this is the Revela. Let me just remove all of these things in here, clear all. Okay, so how you get the Google fonts is you want this guy, just click on this. And there we go, it is being selected. 
And first of all, you link it in your HTML. So copy that, go back in here, HTML, make sure you link everything before your custom CSS, okay? That's a good practice. Otherwise, we just want our CSS to overwrite everything in the, at the top, okay? That's step number one. Now, step number two is wherever you want this font to apply, you just specify in the CSS. Maybe you want to apply it all the body, maybe just a hero text, wherever you want it. I want it just in here, okay? So I'll go back in here and see how does that look. We are coming with watches. That looks good. Now, did you notice that uh, this guy is looking just bare minimum in the same exact font? I want it to be much bigger than uh, simply my HTML there or H1 tag. How can I do that? Now, in case you remember, we did or want learn one of the classes that is uh, display one, time to use that. So we're gonna do a quick span there and span is gonna have, oops, I need a font wrap there and uh, view soft wrap. Okay, that looks good. And uh, I can go in have in a better, okay. I need to expand. And uh, we're gonna use a class there and we're gonna call this as display one, okay? And we're gonna place this watches inside there. Cut that, paste that. There we go. Okay, now the watches is bigger. See, we have applied one thing what we have learned in here. Okay, so let's go back in here. What else we can do? This looks, this looks pretty damn good, okay? And uh, there are a couple of things that I want to do again in here, but I think we are just uh, getting quite long in this video. So this is already looking better, but I want one image uh, there as well at the center of this watches. So we'll look at a couple of ways by which we can center the image just below this guy. So let's catch up uh, in the next video.